Hi, this is Mr. Kane, and today I'm just going to show you a quick little tutorial as to how to submit your essays for uh, English 10 um, using Turnitin.com. So right now, I'm currently at our Google Classroom homepage. Um, classroom.google.com is where you would go, and again, it would bring you to a main page that would look similar to this, show all the Google Classrooms that you are joined in um, or enrolled in, and you would go to English 10 period 5. For your uh, essay, um, submissions there is a topic over here on the left side of the page it says essay materials and so in order to submit your essays you have to go to turnitin.com as you can see submit your essays here um, most of us have already signed up for turnitin.com but this is just to make sure uh, for those of you who are not currently signed up that you are still able to do so and submit all your writing assignments on time so from here you're just going to simply click the link turn it in and it's going to open up a new web page for you for uh, our students at the beginning of the semester we created a new account so you would simply just go to create account and you are going to have this create a user profile where it does say have you ever used Turnitin before and rather than putting in email addresses that might be showing up uh, previous ones you're still going to go to the bottom part of this page where it says create a new account and the first option there is for student so I'm going to hit student and then the first two things that it asks for are a class ID and an enrollment key. For the class ID, the number that we are using for Mr. Kane's English 10 class is 15840455. So everyone would want to make sure that they are using this number 15840455. And then the class enrollment key is going to be NHSD, North Hill School District, all lowercase, just simply typed twice. So 15840455, NHSD, NHSD. And then for the uh, user information, you know, you would just put in first name. So I will create a dummy account here for John Doe. Um, email address. I'll just use my Gmail account and this is what students would want to use as well is their current um, their updated their new student Gmail account and you have to confirm the address and then you have to come up with a password um, case sensitive notice it does say 6 to 12 it contains at least one letter or one number and then you confirm that password secret question uh, it's up for you as to which uh, question you certainly want to go with. Uh, I don't know who the first superhero was that I dressed up as, but I'll simply just say Batman. And that would just be if you cannot uh, get access to a password or you forget what it is. So you, I'm not a robot, and then you create a profile. And I'm not going to save the password. And you see now what it has is this is the class that I'm now in, English 10. So if there were additional classes that you need to have rolled in for other teachers, you would be able to do that off of this account. But now I would be present. Um, so when you click into English 10, now there is a, uh, there's a test, which we don't need. But the Oedipus Rex essay is now the assignment that you would be submitting uh, when it is complete. So I would just simply go to Submit. And then I can put in my paper title. Now this says cut and paste. You want to change this to a single file upload, which I think for most of us it would be by default. You could simply call it the Oedipus Rex essay. And then notice that you can choose from Google Drive. And so you can log into your account and then just simply attach the essay that you need. And then there is a upload and then there is a confirm button when you are done. So all essay assignments are simply going to get turned into turnitin.com. You can see that you get there from essay materials on the left side of the page, and then the link is right there for you, so you just have to set that up. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.